Welcome to Small A. This is another quick lay tip. And I wanted to discuss these T slot nuts that I showed you last time. So, this is another one of those. And they're still on obtainium. And we had to get something else. So, there goes my something else. This is an M6 T slot nut. And of course, it's way too big. It can't fit. So what do we do? Well, we can just uh, hacksaw these. Let me put this on. An M6 clipped head screw. And lock these tightly together. And we can just mark the lines we want to cut. And use a hacksaw. To cut these lines. Now if you do that, what you're going to get is this. The neck is still too long and it's also 8 millimeters exactly, so 8.0 millimeters. And it's about, uh, oop, let's check. About 9 millimeter long neck which you need about three millimeters of a neck just over there let me simulate it like so so you can see how short the neck should be and you just need to trim this using a hacksaw again just hold it in the vise like so and just cut it so i already have one I'd already faced it and turned it down to 8 millimeters, And I still need to turn this to 3.2 or under. So let's do that together. The trick is, if you don't have a mount, like my uh, standard mount, M8 by M6 over here, you can use a clipped head M6 screw and one of these. And you just back them up one against the other tightly and lock it let me take the camera and move it actually move the light doesn't really matter lock it tightly and we'll just remove another 0.8 millimeters of metal I do remember this is uh, stainless or at least steel and magnets will stick to that so cutting oil is a good idea see that well, we're in the ballpark now definitely I'll try and measure it correctly as much as I can and we are at 3.6 well, let's get a bit more off we're getting closer to the nut, so we have to be a bit more careful. Dab of oil.
And that should do the trick. Get a file. Now getting a hacksaw took a couple of minutes and just roughed up the shape. Oh no, this is fairly easy. I can get that off. And the last step I'm going to use is just clean, deburr this by hand. Still got some burrs there. You can either reach in with a Japanese blade and just get those off. Or better it, and if you have it, an M6 tap. We'll just clean that right off. And there we go. It's moving freely. And we can fit it all the way through easily. Will it work? Yes, it will. It moves freely, doesn't bind, and the proof is in the pudding. So, let me get this uh, original Unimat screw off. My bulky hands are in the way. There goes the original one. There goes the new one. Tight? Yep, very tight. Let's uh, give it a go. This is a piece of uh, stainless steel. 316. Let's see if we can face it. A dab there. for the chatter and noise but we semi faced it because I just didn't want to spend the time facing it completely definitely we got it nice and smooth so this holds the head holds the mount really really well so uh, can we use these yeah sure we can so get some if you want to make your own tea slot nuts that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you soon